right, now we're going to cut a set of Bomar sights into our uh, build gun here. The Bomar needs to be 932 thousandths from the bottom of the slide. I've already measured that. I've done my plunge cut. I've got my program on my CNC already set. And we're getting ready to run it. So we got everything set. So we're going to take a lot of metal out. <laughs> right now we're just kind of cutting the deck off. That's this part of the, of the site that will sit down. Next we'll cut the dovetail initial slot. It'll part. You'll see me then reset it. It'll move back and it'll cut the lower part of the, uh, of the rear sight leaf down into the pocket. So just to give you an idea how intricate this cut is, this is the whole profile of that cut, the dovetail and the pocket. Now when we first started shooting uh, the combat action sports and IPSC and all that, this part back here was just cut straight off. And then somebody, it wasn't me, figured out a way to machine that pocket in and it gives the side just a beautiful cut and a protected side. We'll also make this little cut here that gives you access to the uh, windage screw. Now the rear pocket is an additional 35 to 40 thousandths deeper. So now we're going to move back. I've already set the depth for it and the machine is going to start cutting out this pocket. Cutting the corners to make sure that the site sets down without the corners of the site bumping into the slide. It'll come back and it will actually cut now a relief right here for the rear site leaf to sit down. It's going to park at the dovetail cut and wait for me to exchange the bits for the dovetail cutter. All right, we've indexed our dovetail cutter for the slot. It's going to go over, step, and then come back. And it should be a perfect dovetail cut for the uh, home iron style, style uh, rear side. That's why we cut the initial slot and remove a lot of the material to take the stress and the strain off of that cut. So we finished the cut and I got a little bit of the little uh, whiskers, the little burrs off of it. And now we're going to try the site. Now these dovetail sites aren't uh, like a lot of the press-in type dovetail sites that you have on uh, some of the factory guns. This one has a set screw that holds it in. It also has the elevation screw that helps hold it in. But we do want a tight fit, a snug fit. So I'm going to push that in. As you can see, it's tight and fits right down in our cutout. It's a beautiful cut, nice lines, and it's right where we want it.